welcome to today's video on how to choose a sewing pattern. I'm going to talk about a couple different things you might want to look at when you're choosing a pattern, um, figuring out if it will work for you, and just kind of a general overview of things. First, I'd like to talk about the different brands of patterns, the different companies. They're the big four, um, Vogue, McCall, Simplicity, and Berta, Berta, B-U-R-D-A. And then there are other independent companies, and one of them actually is Cashmarat. I think that's how you say it. I don't know. Anyway, I like their patterns. Um, one of the reasons I like their patterns is that in both of these, you can see that they actually use real people in all of their patterns wearing clothing that looks like they sewed or that was made for them. And also, one of the things I really like about these patterns is that they will they will tell you the different sizes, and it will also tell you at the very beginning, advanced beginner. This, especially the, the tank top, looks like it's fairly straightforward. Now we're gonna talk a little bit about Vogue patterns, which, and they tend to come in a different bunch of different varieties. They do have, um, different designers. This is a more um, retro type pattern, vintage, um, but it's, it's, it's still nice. I like the, um, I like the collar there, but um, they, they range from, generally had good luck with them because they have a name attached to them and it's like, oh yeah, we want this to work out for people. Um, they also have a variety of other patterns one of the things I'd like to talk about with um, the Vogue patterns is that these say, these patterns all say very easy. I would not call pants very easy. That is not the first thing I'd make right out of the gate if I were learning to sew. This is actually a pattern I would consider to be very easy. It has, there's, there's no collar, there's no waistband, there are no buttons. On this one, it looks like you might do a little bit of gathering. But again, it's much more straightforward. As I said earlier, this is a very easy pattern. That might be something you would try after you try. It kind of get the idea of like um, waistbands because it's kind of weird. This has, if you look there, waistbands and they're different pleats and you have to make sure that you're sewing the um, right sides together, the right pieces of the leg together and it's it's a it's a it's a lot going on because you're trying to because it has to match front and back I certainly have never sewn two of the front leg patterns together and been like what happened I, I usually recommend doing a simple skirt or like a top first where and another thing I wanted to touch on was all of these patterns will tell you how much fabric you need for each size and you know whether it's 45 inch or 60 inches a lot of these patterns will tell you exactly what um, fabrics that they're best for. It will tell you about, you know, what the pattern looks like, what fabrics, what notions, what you need to make the pattern. This pattern, it's a t-shirt and it says light to mid-weight knit fabric such as jersey with at least 20% crosswise stretch. You can sew it on a regular sewing machine. You do need to adjust the tension. Um, I'm not sure. I would recommend this probably for a serger, but again, if you're going to make this on a regular sewing machine, that's kind of advanced. I haven't done it because I'm kind of a chicken. I would like to talk a little bit about the instruction sheets. I like um, a lot of the big companies will have sheets like this. They'll tell you, um, it'll initially start out with you know, it'll show you all the different pieces and then it will give you some basic instructions and then it will give you all the different, what pieces you need for each view and how to lay that out on 45 or 60 inch fabric. I like these patterns, but one of the things what I like with these patterns is that all the instructions are in a little black and white book. I like this because it talks about cut to fit, how you can adjust the pattern to fit you. Most people I know trace the pattern pieces and I like to do that because especially if you need to go 
um, from one size to another. Let's say you're making pants and you need to have, you know, a smaller waist or the wider hips. You can just um, use one pattern, but you can say, okay, for this, I need to move it up to the, I need to stretch it out to the next size and you can trace that. You can add on or you can subtract to the pattern, which I find really useful. And I found that a lot of people who sew and pick patterns or are altering their own clothes have, um, most people do it because they enjoy it, but also because maybe like me, they're very short and they need to be able to hem their pants or to make skirts that fit them. Also, one thing I really wanted to mention with these, with the Vogue patterns and um, the Vogue McCall Simplicity Bird, they don't tend to, the sizes don't actually tend to correlate to the sizes you'd buy at the store. What I really like is that they do have the finished, every pattern will have finished garment measurements. And again, it tends to, you know, like a size 22 probably is closer to like a size 18 or 20. These patterns, the cashmere patterns tend to be a lot closer to street sizes. One of the things I have used, I did end up being really attracted to all the patterns are um, the Curdy Sews Vintage Casual. I really like a lot of our patterns. I think that they look good. Probably one of the best things about this book is that it has, um, since I provided handy dandy um, post-it notes, it has, it has a lot of different sections on materials and supplies, and also a lot of, you know, how to basic sewing kits, how to alter a pattern, how to say, okay, you know, maybe I need the pants legs to be um, different, just kind of how to alter different things in the patterns. I really like the flared skirt pattern. Um, as you can see, it looks, it's basically two pieces in the front and two pieces in the back. And I don't, let me, and as you can see, there is very straightforward in terms of putting on, this is a good, very good learning pattern, something similar to this. If you are looking for books on how to um, develop basic sewing skills, our library has, shameless promotion here, our library has many books. This is how to choose and use different fabrics. Very extensive, very good. 200 sewing tips, techniques, and trade secrets. A lot of stuff to do with patterns. Alternate sewing Bible, lots of good skills, lots of good pictures, and Debbie Shore's Sewing Room Secrets, Machine Sewing. This shows how to pick a um, sewing machine, a little bit about things you can do, all that good stuff.